In the Adelaide parklands, a sombre occasion. Locals dress in black, mourning the potential loss of dozens of trees. Around 50 locals rallying against the government's proposed site for the new $82 million aquatic centre. The community is outraged because the government has totally ignored the feedback that the community has given them. The group says it knows of more than 500 submissions voicing public concern, including one from 89-year-old Olympian Denise Norton, who the park is named after. She's very annoyed. <laughs> She's ex exceedingly annoyed. It's supposed to be a park. We just think that there's a better location to be had. We, the public, need to have a voice in this. It's really concerning. The state government says this site was chosen to ensure a minimum impact on the parklands. It's promised to plant more trees to compensate the loss. You can't replace trees that are 50 to 100 years old with trees that are going to be planted tomorrow. Construction is set to start next year. Nathan Regter, 7 News. Dozens of people have protested plans to tear down native trees to build Adelaide's new aquatic centre. While the state government says its replacement plan will have the least impact on the parklands, others want the idea given the chop. A sombre tone reflecting the mood of Adelaide Parklands Association. We'd love the government to choose a site for a new aquatic centre that was close to public transport, close to the city, a brownfield site that doesn't need to destroy any trees. The association believes 61 trees will be lost to the state government's $82 million election promise that will be built south of the ageing facility. The surrounding park was named after Olympic swimmer Denise Norton. She and her daughter share the association's concerns. We're delighted, she's delighted yes. that there's going to be a new aquatic centre. Yeah. But why destroy the park? Around 50 people came out to the rally, including some local councillors. Oh, I mean, look at them, they're absolutely beautiful. Um, some of them almost 100 years old. Um, you just can't, uh, you can't grow that overnight. Before the state election, Labor promised to improve tree protection laws. Yet only six months later, they're threatening to cut down dozens of trees in this park. The state government says it chose a site south of the aquatic centre because it would have had the least amount of impact on the existing vegetation. And new trees will be grown off site so semi mature trees can be planted here when the existing site is knocked down. Aquatic centre users are largely happy the project is going ahead. And it is upsetting those, that those trees do need to be cut down, but I guess when you look at the outcomes and the final results and the actual new aquatic centre that we will get, uh, I think it's a good compromise. It is growing, so we definitely need a bigger one. To me, it is an ideal situation, very close by, nothing really changed. The government says work on the concept designs detailing any impacts to plants and trees is about to get underway. Evelyn Leckie, ABC News, Adelaide.